Hello again. Um, today we're going to do a short little tutorial on how to do repeat printing. And what I mean when I say repeat printing is taking one of the screens and printing the same image multiple times on a piece of fabric or a project. Um, what has a tendency to happen is that if you're not careful, you can get extra blotches of paint where you don't want it to be. And in order to show you how to avoid that, which it's really simple, and I kind of had to learn it the hard way, so I thought maybe I would save you guys from learning it the same way. Um, I'm going to show you really high contrast uh, printing, which means I'm using black fabric and I'm using the Copper Penny Simply Screen Paint. Um, it's pretty simple, but like I said, I, I sort of learned how to not make a mess the hard way, so. I figured I'd show you guys how to do it. The print or the screen that we're going to use today is Pile O Scullies and it's by Leanne Meixner and it's some of her hand drawn artwork. That's, this print is available in the shop so if you like it, it's there for you. So let's get started. This is Copper Penny. This is one of the uh, metallics that are offered from Simply Screen and I really like, I really do like their metallics because they have a shine to them, but they're not they're not over the top metallic. They're not real glitzy. So um, the way I'm going to show you how to print this is my method. If you're looking for the more traditional or correct way to screen print, there is another video in the YouTube channel that shows you just basic printing. So the way I'm going to do it is my way, but you know you can do it with the more traditional where um, which is shown in the other video. So all you're going to do is you're going to start printing. And I have a tendency to, when I'm printing, to take my paint and put it upside down in a cup because that way it's, the paint's always ready to come out. You don't have to shake it or anything like that. So we're just going to go ahead and do a print. And there we have it. Now you have two options at this point. Um, we're going to assume that you want to keep printing all the way down and make a, tire, a solid row, a solid piece of fabric with lots of skulls all over it because who doesn't like lots of skulls? Um, you can either let this dry at this point or you can print your second repeat while it's still wet, which is what I choose to do because I just don't have the patience to wait for it to dry and also if you let this dry in between depending on the humidity in your area it could take a while for it to dry which means you might have to wash your screen out at the same time so I'm going to show you how I do the repeat printing and what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of stagger the screen and I'm going to put it down sort of at an angle so it prints a little different and you're going to notice that I'm going to put it right down on top of the wet. These little guys, these little skulls right here are so wet. I've never had a problem with it smearing. However, when I put it down, it stays down. I don't pick it up and reposition it. I don't move it around. It's there. It's for me to make the print and that's it. So we're going to put a little more paint on the screen. And when I go to hold it, when I'm printing this time, the, one of the biggest tips is to not push down on the part where the screen is laying over the wet print. So I'm going to go ahead and hold it over here. We're going to print again. And we're going to pull it up. And because this was the second print, we don't really have any concerns about blotches. But I want you to notice, I want you to take a look and see, this is pretty much spots like right here and right here, which is basically the paint on the duct tape is where you're going to get the messy repeats. So all you're going to do is take a paper towel and if you do it while it's wet, you don't it can just be a dry paper towel and you're just going to go ahead and wipe it off the duct tape. And it usually it comes right up. 
So we basically, we have clean duct tape again that's not going to leave any marks on anything for us. So that means we can go ahead and do another repeat print. So this time I'm going to turn the screen again just to, you know, fill in the space and make it a little more random. I'm going to put it down again over top of wet prints and this time I have enough paint on my screen. I don't need to add any more so we're just going to go ahead and print the guy again. Once again holding away from the wet prints that the screen is sitting on top of. Pull it back and you'll notice we only have paint where we want it. You'll see on the back of the screen again that we're getting paint on the duct tape right there and if you do a lot of repeats you may eventually start to see some paint on the back of the screen so all you're going to do again is take a paper towel and just clean it off so that you don't have any paint where you don't want it and be careful and just take a moment and take a good look because it's easy to miss it sometimes um, I think we look pretty good. I don't really see anything there. So we can go ahead and print again. And once again, I've got a pretty good amount of paint on my screen, so I'm just going to lay it down and pull it again. And you can see again, we only have the paint where we want it. Now, I'm going to do something. You can see that there's paint right here and right here, and actually over here as well. I'm not going to clean the screen. I'm going to show you what it looks like if you don't clean it. So you can see what I mean by it being a dirty, like a dirty print, which, you know, sounds kind of funny, but... We got a little bit over there. I don't know how well you can see it on the screen, on the camera. Um, let me bring it over. You can see it a little bit right there, and there's a little bit of marks over there. And what'll happen is, like, if you're, it doesn't look that bad here, but what's going to happen is if you're, like, have white fabric with red paint, or white fabric with black paint, you're really, it's really going to stand out strong. So by doing what we did where we just cleaned the duct tape edges and made sure that there was nothing on the back of the screen, you can avoid that kind of thing. So for the most part, we have a pretty clean repeat here that's not bad. So you can do a lot with it. It's it's worthwhile, if, especially like if you're doing tote bags. I've actually printed this pattern on my apron. Um, you can create your own fabric that has strong repeats on it and it's a really nice way to make unique projects like if you're doing um, tote bags or t-shirts or anything of that nature eventually you may come to a point where you want to do multiple prints so if you don't want to wait for it to dry just go ahead and do what I showed you where you clean off the duct tape edges and make sure there's no paint sitting on the back of the screen and you'll come out with pretty clean prints. So I hope you found this helpful and happy printing.